It's either Stardust or Summertime. <laughs> Thank you. 
um, see it. It's, again, it's, it's done by BBC, a British, no, no, CBC, Canadian broadcast, yeah. Um, and it's, it's an incredible video of, of um, the inner workings of, of both not only a, a mind, but of, of, a, of, a, of a band and, and of a period of time. I am, um, there's a friend of mine who, <laughs> he, and I, he and I both con sort of considered the Oscar, um, our, 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 you know, ex officio kind of mentor. And I remember I, I gave him, a, we li I live in South Park now too, but he lives in South Park about a block from the river, from the Duwamish River. And I, I sent him a CD once and I had from the Oscar Fusion on it. And I called him up a couple of days later and I said, D -d -d Keith, did you, you listen to that CD? And he said, I listened to two songs. And I said, well, what happened? He, he said, I became suicidal. <laughs> And I said, what? I said, we thought about jumping in the river. And he said, I really thought about jumping in the river, but I figured he'd be on the other side waiting for me, so why bother? <laughs> okay, this is, um, this is kind of a, a fun song. A good, good buddy of mine, Gene Harris, wrote this song. There, there is a, a very beautiful um, <coughs> hymn, uh, or, or, or spiritual, actually, called uh, Let Us Break Bread Together. This is called Breaking Bread Together. And, and if you, um, if you want to clap, you just don't get near the piano.
way it ends, I'm sorry. <laughs> it is not a continued story like Ghetto. Okay? That's, it's, that's the ending.
which was written by Neil Hefty, and it was a uh, it was a standard of the Basie band. Yeah, and uh, it's called Girl Talk.
and the band members, oh, said the Gail Pettis was a singer, and he, and he said, I'm going to quit before he, before he threatens me. I'm going to I'm gonna quit. And, and, and Gail said, I'm with you. I'm, I'm quitting too. <laughs> right, right before. <laughs> but I, I love Rick dearly, and, and uh, uh, we've had the long, long, and, and historic relationship. But, when, but once we were on Lopez Island, and uh, uh, we were playing for, for the Jacobsons. I think they were, they were, we were doing a school thing. And we, we were staying at a, at a, a place off, that was off, away from the site that we were going to actually play at, play at. And I got to the island early that, that, that day. And uh, Dean Jacobson took me over to the place I was going to stay in. And, uh, we drove this back sort of a back alley thing, and 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 in the in the back there was a driveway of this house, and uh, there was this big pile of dirt and a shovel in one place in it. <laughs> I mean, it was big. And so when Rick arrived on the island later that day. I told him, I said, okay, here's, here's where we're going to stay. And I had him drive over there. And I said, no, 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 don't park here. Park, park over there. And he drives up and he sees this mound of dirt with a shovel in it. And he says, I thought you'd been kidding all these years. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do another medley. This is one of the carnival and uh, some of your view.
Bruce Ferris on bass. We're going to take a brief in and listen. We'll be back in about 14 days or something. Like that. No, we'll, we'll be back in a little while. Anyway, again, Rick's fan, Bruce Ferris. Thank you so much. Thank you.